Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is going to be our next project, which is the chipmunk. Um, I started to chop some of it away. The wood's kind of hard. I had to soak it in a bit. And what I use again, folks, is I use the ammonia uh, rubbing alcohol. I'm sorry, the rubbing alcohol and water mix 50-50. And the alcohol content is uh, of the rubbing alcohol is 70%. So, um, you know... What I did of, first of all is I put a center line all the way up and around the whole the whole carving itself to know where the middle is. It's very important to use that as a reference point. Um, so what I did was I started chopping away a little bit here. I'm going to have a little bit of a puffy cheek to him and then he's going to be holding the nut and his front paws there. And then he's going to be standing up a little bit. So um, what we've been doing is I've been trying to trim down its face a little bit. Like I said, this wood's a little on a tough side. Uh, it doesn't make it as enjoyable as if it's not tough. But uh, that's okay. I mean, can't always have it perfect, I guess. Uh, but for some reason, this, this piece just was a little bit tougher than I like. But... Uh, you do a little bit at a time. You don't have to do a lot at one time. And uh, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to work it down. I, you see how thin the ears are. This is going to be puffed out a little bit on either side. And there's going to be, right here we're going to start cutting the ears out. Because that's wet it won't work. Uh, we're going to be cutting the ears out right in here. Okay. So this has to be removed right in the middle. So we can do that if you want. See if it's smaller, it's not too bad. There we go. Okay. And we're going to just keep trimming this away here. Uh, you know, when the wood's tougher, you're going to put more pressure on it, which isn't easy to do, you know, uh, to cut yourself that way. See where I have my thumb located as I'm pulling that across so my thumb is clear? Uh, you can also put a thumb guard on. That would help it as well. And <clears throat> I'm just going to work this way, this stuff down a little bit. And I'm going to keep going from side to side here to show you how that's done. So we're just going to kind of... The piece of wood that I got was a little bit too um, thick. I should have trimmed it up, but I'd rather go from too thick to something smaller than not having enough room to carve. Okay? And that's, that's a real important aspect of it. So we're just going to start shaping everything a little bit. And we're going to go to the other side. You'll see me switch quite a bit, folks, from one side to the next. And what we're going to do down here with the tail, instead of having it going straight out, we're going to have it curved, okay? Either to the right or to the left. We'll see when we get to that point. We're not there yet. But what we will do, um, I'm sorry, this has to go this way. Uh, we will uh, slowly you know, work towards the whole body, getting it proportioned correctly. So, okay. Have your glove on if you don't have one, folks, especially if you're new. You know, so easy. I'm very cautious because I know this wood's a little tougher. Uh, it's basswood. Uh, it just happens to be a little tougher piece. And I usually get it from the same source, which I'm usually very, very happy with it. I, you know, I still like the wood. It's not, it's not a problem if you soak it up with that um, alcohol, and, uh, rubbing alcohol and water. You can get pretty far with it. You know, you can do a lot with the wood, even if it's a little bit aged and a little bit dried out. Okay. So we're going to just work towards that center right there, okay? We're going to just kind of scoop that out. 
and work towards that middle that you see. This table really got a workout with all the carvings. You can see all the paint and all kinds of things this past year. Um, see how I'm pushing it with my thumb? It's very important to try to... Um, I'm going to leave that there. I don't want too much off of there. I want a little bit of a pouch. But uh, when you can't push it with your thumb the way I did, the pull method works pretty well. Just make sure your thumbs are out of the way. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit more of this offline. But when we get down here, folks, you don't want to go too far. You just want to leave about maybe a half an inch here to play with. Okay. We are just basically shaping it up right now. And we are not, you know, we're not looking to go further than a half an inch. We don't want that closer than a half an inch right now, right where that middle is from either side. I mean, total of a half an inch. So I'm just going to start pulling this out and see how I'm scooping that out. See how I'm scooping that out? I want to leave those cheeks there. See how much easier when you can pivot your thumb against it? You have a lot more control on that knife. I got really busy with the daisies, uh, I'm sorry, with the pansies I was doing earlier. And, uh, you know, it's it's just been a lot of fun to do something nice and simple like the pansies. Uh, they've been uh, fun to do and work on. So I made a few for some people that I know and for Mother's Day. I know it's way ahead of time, but better, a little further ahead than scrambling to get stuff done. Makes it more enjoyable. Now this is way too thick, folks. Way too thick. But we're going to keep trimming some of this off here, just like so. Alright. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to trim some of this off. Alright. This will take some time, and that's fine. This is not a race of any kind. So, you know, just take your time with it. Alright. And folks, we'll be back. I'm going to trim some more off uh, while I'm offline, just a little bit more, and then we'll be back.